What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Real Time. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And I'm Zaf. And today we are back with Season 3, Episode 3 of Outer Banks. This one is called Fathers and Sons. Right away, let's let's address the elephant in the room. John B. <laughs> is about to meet his father. That has to be what the Big episode John is about. Routledge. He's about to reunite with his dad, who he presumed was dead. He could, or he recognized the bells that Big John has been ringing literally all day. Yeah, it, it, it looks like it worked though. It was kind of crazy though that John just abandoned his friends. He was like, oh yeah, we're being chased by this actual militia. I gotta <laughs> go check out that church though. Those bells sound familiar. Like he actually, worth. I mean, it was, it was, a, it was worth, but like an insane game. Yeah. I don't know if that wouldn't have paid off what he would have looked like an actual idiot. Have been stuck. <laughs> yeah. But good thing it did pay off. We think at least, I mean, this is called fathers and sons. So. Yeah. We haven't seen them reunite yet, but I mean, they're going to reunite. But yeah, the rest of the gang, I'm pretty sure got away on that boat that they stole from. He stole from Rafe. Rafe. So I'm guessing they're just going to head back to the OBX. Like I know eventually they get back there. So like for them I think that's the that makes the most sense. I yeah. think John B might just stay with his dad for a while and uh rec or meet up with the guys later. Yeah, I I don't know what this means though for the whole Carlos Singh thing. Like he's still going to be after them like after the diary and stuff. So I'm going to be really upset though that he and Rafe escaped. But Rafe's still on the island though, so I don't know what he's going to do either. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it before we do get into the episode. If you have been liking all of our Outer Banks reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. We are getting super, super close to 100,000 subscribers, so please hit the sub button. It helps us out a lot. We'd really, really appreciate that. Check out the links in our description as well. We got the Patreon, Discord, all of our social medias down there, as well as the address to our P.O. box. Send us something to be opened up on camera for our show mail time, like everything you see behind us right now. And with all that being said, guys, we're going to get right into this episode. Outer Banks, Season 3, Episode 3. Fathers and sons. Let's do it. Like any family, we had our moments. No, 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 you're not being rude, Dad. We're not selling the Twinks. Yes, we are. No, you are the worst dad ever. <laughs> you are the worst dad ever. Look at his. Is that yeah, a weird dress? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Jimmy, don't you come back? I feel like it's not real. That was the last time. I oh yeah, yeah. I forgot. They ended with a bad argument. He wanted to sell the van. That's why. The Twinkie. Just as he gives up. Ah, uh, of course. I mean, he's in the building, right? Yeah. He's like, yo, anybody here? You think he's going to see him? Yeah. What's it going to be like? Come on in, John B. Come on home. Bring it home, John B. <laughs> he Big looks, John. He looks awesome, Big John. Big John knows how to bring it home. John? John B? Look! Oh my... Don't do this shit, bro. Do this shit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is... This is tough. Yo, John. Oh? Hey, you saw him. Dad? Dad! <laughs> Dad, is, is... Is that you? Can we go a little bit quicker? I'm gonna take his time, man. I love you, Bird. Bird. He's Bird. He always called him. He, I remember that. It was like season one stuff. He used to call him Bird. Dad. That's crazy. That's a crazy Dad? feeling, probably. I don't know. Yeah, that's nuts. This is a clown. It's reverse, John B. Rutledge. Bring him for hours. <laughs> Fucking mountain, man. <laughs> Yay. Fathers and sons reunited. This is awesome. Only took him three seasons. Oh, shit. We gotta get out of here. We gotta vanish. Pops talk to me, is that what he said? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, now they're doing shit together. Yeah, immediately just do it. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> why is this why is this duo so funny already? <laughs> They're already out. Yeah, they didn't surround the church very well. Let's go find your friends. How are they gonna get on their friend's boat? Do you think they didn't leave by now? 
Like they, they did leave. They got shot at. Yeah. I feel like they're gonna go back to OBX. That's what. Yeah, that's what I said. We had to leave, or we'd all be zip tied in the back of the pickup. We did the right thing. Sarah was the one that did it too. Sarah she, left because she was thinking of Topper. She drew, no, <laughs> no. Plan B, we take my boat. It's back at my place. We've got to fix something up there anyway. Hang on, I gotta call. Him. Well, they gotta pick up at his place. What's he have? The shroud. Fortis? Fortis, that's John B. That's definitely John B. Guys, I'm with my dad. <laughs> Found him. Look, it's way too hot here. All right, you guys gotta get out of here. Go back to OBX. We do not copy. Can you let me talk to him? John B. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Singh's just gonna look over right and see him. I mean, they're in the middle of the ocean, right? Like. Hello. <laughs> they got really good service. Send a text, maybe. Sarah, come on. Keep going. Kildare. Go. He said go, JJ. The, there's no argument here. Like, what do you think, Sarah? Uh, this is what I think. No, but no, but just wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did out. John B say? Well, he said this. No. Well, no. It is crazy to see Big John moving around like this. I <laughs> just he did. is big. Bro. He really it's a tall is. Tall guy. Spider hole. Good name. We're at the spider hole. Doesn't sound like a place I'd want to hang out. Yeah, at. you <laughs> wouldn't get there. I'm breathing. I'm hunting, man. What can I say? Dude, he like waddles around. Dude, big, Big John already in the running for my favorite character. I think he's gonna say some of the funniest things this season, bro. <laughs> he's already said the funniest shit. Somebody died out there. It wasn't me. Who? Whose hand was that? Remember? Yeah. yeah. Names are funny. Okay, shit. Right now. I'm right? <laughs> still thinking about the game. You just <laughs> saw your son for the first time in years. Or like Let's get year. back to we, it. We need to get that gold. <laughs> <laughs> I got mixed up with Limbry and a whole lot of things. You think? Limbry? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, he just name dropped Limbry. Like Carla Limbry. Yeah. How do you think How, I don't think he needs Limbry anymore because he found John V on his own. Yeah, but I think he promised to give her the shroud. I can explain it all. Focus. We gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he just keeps going. Come on, boy. That a boy. <laughs> you say, well done, boy. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't it. even think he's asked Sean B like how he's been or anything. Uh, we gotta get the gold, son. Oh, we're back here. Guadalupe. Where's Rafe? Where's Rafe? Fucking everything up. Oh, Actually yeah. challenging a warlord on Barbados right now the crazy uh shirt and wife beater combo yeah right there. I mean see it I right just there. don't think that he has any other clothes right so this like all through here is where all the tourist shop but like the real deals right right back here oh like uh, right <laughs> so you're just gonna take this dude's like fit and everything he's just about to jump this guy yeah yep he just took his fit wallet he loves that. Let him keep the clothes, though. Got the hat. He loves beating up people. <laughs> he just beats up people anymore. He killed that guy? That's a huge boat. There's no way he killed that guy. Man, how are you? Oh, living a dream. He got some songs since you took this photo, man. Big old Mr. Tompkins. Appreciate it. Enjoy Guadalupe. That worked. Looked nothing like that guy. Got some sun. Like he's the most tan guy ever. How pale is that guy? Not very, I don't think. I feel like he was... More tan than a guy Rafe. So the diary we have leads to a 500-year-old treasure that no one's ever found? Hey, Max. I'm in. It's kind of like my best option at this point, so... Look the way she's looking at him, bro. Who's boarding school? I mean, I don't even know what's gonna happen when we get back to the OBS. Yes. You Nothing good. Mm. At least you don't got a restitution, though. A job, a parents. Yeah. Arrows are gonna be coming in hot. Yeah, JJ just has to pay the restitution. <laughs> Ew. Whoa! One by one. What? Are they gonna kiss? Look at them, bro. You know whatever happens, we're gonna handle it together. Oh, oh my! Are they gonna do it right now? No. 
Oh. Come on, Pope. <laughs> yeah, let's stop at the gas station for gas, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> Pope. Hey, Pope. 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 Hey, hey uh, Pope. That was rough. That's kind of annoying because I remember JJ was like such a good wingman to Pope. Mm -hmm. I like Pope. I mean, I like Pope too. It's I just... would be upset if I was Pope. Yeah. I yeah. yeah of, I course, mean... of course. Of course. Whoa, whoa, John. Damn. Give me the piece. Armed robbery? Really? It's our robbery. The piece is mine. Ain't that right, RJ? Big John, what are we doing here? What the is that even? I can't take a look at this. It's like a little statue thing. It looks like it's from, uh... Post of Orinoco. Oh, whoa. That's about El Dorado. Sing. Is it? It's gonna be. Mr. Sing! What a surprise! Oh, oh great. You? you have such fine pieces, you know. Oh, no, not this again. I can't stand the announce. You need to talk to me right now. Wait, we gotta get out of here now. Take this. Take this. Trust in John B with that thing? Oh my god, Big John. He's ready to shoot. What if he just starts mowing down people? I know when someone else has a good eye because I have a good eye too. What? This dude just says words. It takes one to know one, you know. And I got one, you know. <laughs> I thought to myself, I thought, you know, they have to come and see my old friend Arjun. He's gonna kill this guy, bro. Stop him, you old man. Stop him. Come on. Where's the beast? I thought you had it. Yo. God, dude. How? Is this real life? How do we forget it? I don't know where they are. Oh, he just lied to him. They went through the alley. We gotta go. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. we're already getting shot at. We're already getting shot at. Oh, they're going right down onto the boat. I feel like they're gonna get separated, bro. I, I can't. I'll be very upset. Oh? Oh, looks like we're getting out. You got a duck or something. Right? You know? No, they're just gonna let him drive away on the boat. I think right now he's like, dude, my dad's kinda fucked. <laughs> just went and did an armed robbery on his, like, partner. Hey, Bob. Up, bro. You fill her up? Oh no. <laughs> We're not talking to you, JJ. <laughs> Straight up. Nothing actually happened. Man, you're not lying to me. I'm not lying to you, Pope. We're pokes. We do not lie to each other. It doesn't matter. Dude, JJ's like the most trustworthy person ever. I know, I know. If you're asking me if I like it, yeah. No. It's not my favorite thing ever. But. but I'm not going to stop you. Respect. That's a pretty cool thing to say. Yeah. You think he'd say that if he didn't have uh, Cleo right now? I don't think he has Cleo right now. Though. Like, I know, but it's like... Uh, it's he just, not my favorite thing ever, but... He might like Cleo, but... Oh. Oh. Now she's looking at him. I think he might have Cleo. He will have Cleo. Yeah. Living what? <laughs> oh, no. Why is Big John permanently sweaty? <laughs> Like, why? Like, There's no reason he's sweaty right now, right? Yeah, yeah I was marooned out on the shoals for what felt like months. Are they on the boat right now? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. That this is like, looks like they're inside of a house. It's a boat. Isn't that awesome, though? Oh, That's yeah, cool. what actually happened here? Thing must have my boat, and his men showed up. What? Did he kill people here? No way he was strong enough to do all this. <laughs> I didn't go without a fight. He just killed that guy. He left one of his men behind. Yeah, yep, that was the it. guy he killed. He just let him kill his boy right in front of him. He wants to cut a deal with me. He wants me to tell him everything I know in exchange for him keeping me alive. 
Mm. Yo. Oh yeah, big gun. This lethal. Got a little roughed up along the way, but I made it out. He gets stabbed in the back? Looks like he either got stabbed or shot. Big John's a tough mofo. And here I am. Back with my boy. The legend <laughs> continues. I feel like it just doesn't feel... It feels weird between them right now. You think if uh, Big John had to pick between John B or that little uh, statue thing he has, which one is he picking? <laughs> statue. I think so, too. <laughs> so you just gonna walk in there and shop with? You got a pocket full of cash? Yeah, dude, now we're getting the Pope and Cleo. I'm here for it. Come on, gray pipe. Look, I ain't got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that the fake name that he gave her when they were on the boat? He's like, what's your name? Where do you work? He's like, gray. Hi. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you see that, what she just said? Huh. No. She said, watch my back. Maybe that'll cheer you up and wink at him. Oh. Damn. Jeez. Damn, Cleo's on a run right now. Oh. <laughs> that was, that cool. was hilarious, bro. <laughs> what was that voice? <laughs> I mean, Sarah Cameron. I know there must be someone. No, not a kook. Ward Cameron's daughter. Sids. Oh, <laughs> Metaphorically, I got this married. bandana to show for it. Not legally, though. Yeah, you know oh, you know her and her dad. Not gonna be happy, huh? Sarah Taylor. Yep, she's not like her dad, man. Listen. Ward's daughter. Yeah. The queen of Kilbear. That's the one. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> no, we cannot. Dude, he's sick. <laughs> big John, dude. Big John he, just called Sarah Cameron the big prize. I Little like, big. I like Big John. I'm not sure if he's like bad or good. I'm I think in the middle. I, I mean, he's just been on like this crazy lifestyle for the past year. Like, he's definitely got to be a little messed up in the head right now. And got his head smashed. Yeah, smashed. Yeah. Almost died. Killed someone. And you two were together before, right? Very briefly. Yeah, for a night. Very briefly. <laughs> <laughs> she Jeez. laughs about it. <laughs> Sensitive subject. I like Cleo. You and me have the same problem. Tribe Are they going to get together? Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna kiss. Pipio? Pipio. Mm, I can't get in. Cleo. Yeah. Cope. I like Cove. Clope. Clope. That's it. We're team Clope. I don't, I'm not really liking Sarah B right now. They're not feeling too good. Or John Cameron. I don't know. <laughs> what? Those are just bad names. <laughs> I don't know how to mix them. I like these two. Yeah, they're sweet. Oh, just just go to JJ. This stone piece is supposedly what led them to Alvarado, captain of San Jose. See, he wasn't the only one who knew how to get there, so he he dug this up out of the jungle. There always has to be a mission for gold, huh? It just, it just keeps getting bigger. We had actual gold, then we had a cross made of gold. Now a city. Now What's the, the next the thing? city a of gold. A planet? <laughs> There's this golden planet. <laughs> this is the big one, kid. I big John and John B kind of look drunk right age. now. <laughs> big John B looks wasted. <laughs> but as I got older, I began to think that all those things... He's slugging. I bet Big John can drink a lot. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big John's just one of those, I feel like he's one of those dudes that started drinking. He's like 20 and just hasn't stopped yet. We're on our way to El Dorado. El Dorado. Great movie. Shark. Oh, shark. Whale. Oh, that's terrifying. 
We got one of those here. Behind I've me. seen I've seen a humpback like that up in person in Hawaii. We went whale watching. So sick. So are they headed there right now? I think, yeah. Well, they need to find the other piece, right? From well, the diary, yeah. You know, and I thought now you fucked with Carlos Singh. Tell you that it was, it was taken care of, and I don't know, maybe you'd be pr proud of me or something because you know I'm the one who brought it home because I, cause I. <laughs> He's pissed off again. Now we got these two again, bro. Just so much comedy in this show. I need you to go back to the Outer Banks. Mm. Go there. Why? There's nothing there for us. Not anymore. Except one thing. Except your sister. I need you to sell the businesses, sell the rental properties. I need you to sell Tanny Hill. Mmm. Selling Is that what you said? Yeah. Did I stutter? Yeah. Why? I think we need money. We need some funds. No, they got all the gold, right? They still have the cross? I don't know. I think so. He went to sell it to Carlos, but they I think he just went it. to, yeah, make a deal. And then they still have the vault of gold, right? All the gold bars? I think so. I don't think Rafe likes the idea of selling it. No. It's his home. I am going to be taking that cross, looking into it. We have that cross because of you. You got it for us. Dude, remember when Rafe single-handedly was holding the cross up from falling into the ocean at the yep. end of last season? Yeah. What a hero. I feel like in real life, if he tried to, like, grab that cross and hold it up, actually, arms would have been ripped out of Shoulders, their socket. Like, yeah. they would have been destroyed. Anyone, actually. Anybody. It could have been the rock. Yeah. Just anyone. Any human. Remember, like, I mean, it's, it it's a giant, you know, light, like, human sized cross made of gold. Remember when they first got it and they were carrying it, like, the pogues? Yeah. There yeah. was, like, six of them carrying it, and yep. it was heavy. The most pierced Pope. And it fell. Yeah. But, but, but Rafe was like, Oh, they're home. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> On a rope, too. Are they home? Looks like it. Oh, my God, yeah. Bring it in, Jombie. Bring it on in, Jombie. Please say it. Get on home, John. Bring it on in, son! Let's go! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. Bring it on home. I love it, dude. I love it. <laughs> Stand out here and get bit by mosquitoes this whole damn time. You want to go inside? Mosquitoes, believe it or not. Big John is huge. I know. Like, John B's a pretty like, tall guy, too. He's not a short guy. Remember the last time we were together? It's all right, John B. We all say mean stuff to our parents sometimes that we don't mean. I love you, Bert. I'm happy they're together. So glad that John B brought it home. I think there's any world where Big John does something bad to John B again? Uh, I don't think he would do something directly bad. I could see indirectly, like I just like he would prioritize the gold over him, maybe. Uh, he was never here. It was all a part of your imagination, John B. You've never had a dad. <laughs> he about to dip? That's the piece. He's about to leave. I think he was trying to leave. For real? Oh no. Who do you think's in here? Oh my god. It's Carlos Singh. No. Oh, what? Is this real? What? No, no. this is a dream. This is a dream. This is a dream. That was the most that that was the most random shit. What? <laughs> We're still dreaming. I'm in a fever dream right now, I think. Are we watching Scott Pilgrim? It could be her. I mean, Carlos Singh could come here. He said he knows where they live. He's alive. My dad's alive. And, and he's here right now. Look. Ah. Uh, where'd he go? Dad. Ah. Uh. Hey, I, I, look, I, I promise he's here. Give me one sec. Dad. What? Hey. No, no, no. Hold on. I promise. I mean, he could just be somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so he just left, right? Like, it's. I mean, 
If I had to guess, he'd just be going to get the the diary, the diary out of the Twinkie, yeah. right? I don't know why he just sat there and talked to Sarah for a minute and a half and didn't look over to see if his dad's right there. Yeah. He goes, he's right there. Look. Like, what? I don't know. But yeah, uh, I guess obviously what the episode was about, I mean, figure figured was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, reconcile with his dad. They're back in the OBX too. That's awesome. I'm, I think like pretty much everyone's back now. I know Rafe's coming back too. I could see Carlos Singh coming here low key because he, he did say, I think at one point that he knows they where they live here. Which makes sense. He obviously, I think he knows everything. Feels like everybody's coming back to OBX right now, because Rafe is coming to sell the Tanny Hill property, that whole property. I feel like for some reason Sarah and Gumby are going in a weird path. I mean, I think eventually there, it's not going to be those two, right? Like, I think we're guessing that Topper is going to be Sarah's love interest. I don't know sick. if it's going to be like a permanent thing, but I, I think that there, it's going to be like a thing for sure. Like, I don't know if she's going to outright just like the rest of the show. She's with Topper now, but I think from the trailer, like it looks like Topper does get involved at some point. Becomes yeah. a love triangle, maybe. I don't know. And I could see at one point, because it seems like John B is like ready or like he's going to choose his dad over anyone else right now, especially because he hasn't seen him in so long. So like... I could see like him kind of like coercing John B into like something like kind of sketchier yeah. and then like him not even consulting the group or even telling Sarah just because he wants to be with his dad. Yeah. And like that just absolutely like making her uh-huh. not want to be with him or anything. Cause like, I doubt big John's going to be like, Hey son, we're going to El Dorado. Bring the gang. Bring like, them all. There's, there's no way. I don't think. It was a big couple episode too. We saw JJ and Key getting real close. They know that they like each other now. I think it's really just the whole close. Pope yeah. thing that's keeping them from actually being together. I think Pope was upset, but he handled it well. I mean, and I really ship him and Cleo. They seem yeah. like they're gonna be good together. I like them a lot. I thought that that scene of them stealing from the the store was so funny with with Pope's <laughs> accent. That was hilarious. I don't know. That was one of the funniest parts of the season so far. Yeah. Also, John B and Big John forgetting to grab the the piece when they were escaping. Just getting wasted on the boat. Now, th- in yeah. the middle of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The, the silliness is definitely still present in the show, and I and love it's it. it's perfect. I do love the silly stuff. And I saw Colin saying that Topper is absolutely hilarious this season, <laughs> so I cannot wait. That bro. makes me so happy. I know. Topper oh. is one of the funniest characters in the show. He might, yeah, he might be the funniest. Okay, <laughs> maybe Big. John. I feel like Big John's g- giving him a run for his money, though, dude. I don't know. I feel like we've had a, a lack of uh, JJ humor. I feel like he's usually like the funniest, low key. Like JJ's hilarious. Yeah, he's just he's been, been serious. serious. Yeah, he's, he's been, been all been scared. A lot of shit going on. I mean, realistically, they're all in the outer back at the Outer Banks now. Carlos Singh is gonna have to come there, right? Like, unless, yeah, because where? I mean, no one else is left in Barbados. It is. Do we have any clue where El Dorado is? Like, no, is it that's nearby? the whole. Like, I don't think anyone knows. It's just the lost city of gold. I can't wait to see what the end game, like the El Dorado, looks like. It's gonna be realistically. I like we know that there's a season four. I could see the El Dorado not being found until season yeah. Surely four. they yeah. can't get much bigger than that. Like what else is there? Like it's an the actual golden city. skyscraper. <laughs> that's not that's not, not even. even. It's a whole it's city of gold. Skyscraper in a city. They're in cities. <laughs> the only other thing that could be is like an Atlantis type thing, like an underwater. Yeah. Like, <laughs> maybe like I, a I whole know. continent, like a whole island. I, I really doubt that would not not have been found by now, right? Yeah. But also Limbry, I feel like is going to like throw a wrench in this because Big John like owes, owes yeah. her because she helped him find John B. And now he owes her the, yeah. the shroud, which I'm not sure Big John knows where the fuck that is realistically big john has a lot of places to be right now he could be helping out limbry going to get that uh thing from the the diary so i wouldn't be too worried about it yet i mean yeah i'm just trying to think of like who's gonna who's gonna show up because like right now they're all safe like it's all chill at obx they're gonna start thinking john b's crazy yeah, but how is the town gonna handle this? It's like, I oh, was Big say. John's back. You've been dead for a year. <laughs> oh, Rafe's back. Oh, the kids are back. Rafe's yeah, back trying to sell his property. Didn't he murder someone? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I think the next episode, though, is gonna be just like everyone 
meeting back up mm -hmm. with like their friends and family and I'm just a bit worried though with the whole Key and JJ thing because based off the trailer it does seem like she ends up going to like a boarding school or like is about to go to boarding school so I'm just worried for her to go home because like her parents already they did <laughs> not have a good relationship they're gonna be so pissed yeah. right now wasn't that the threat before too that like if she messed yeah. up and what she was gonna go to boarding school? I think school? they eventually said like you're we're sending you to boarding and school she and then she away. did yeah and she ran away so all right, guys, well, that is it for this episode. If you have been liking all the Outer Banks reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. We got the Patreon, Discord, all of our social medias down there, so check those out. At the very bottom, you will see the address to our PO box. Send us something to be opened up on camera for our show mail time. And with all that being said, guys, we will see you next time for Season 3, Episode 4 of Outer Banks. Peace out.